I am out of the closet now, and <laughs> I'm not going back. You uh, call it me being out of the closet? <laughs> oh, yeah. For 62 years, I was in the closet, and now I'm out. I'm set free. I'm going back. Yeah. I have, I have lost some friends along the way now because they can't accept me outside of the religious realm. Yeah, but so I that's know what you God mean about too. the closet. You mean in religion? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Do you go to church sometimes, though? Not, not anymore. I haven't gone since September. Because, uh -huh. as I say, I am in training. I still, I still believe in God. And I know that I am the church. I don't really need to be in anybody's building. So what do you mean when you say you in training? I am in training. I am in universal training. Because oh. the Daphne you are looking at now is the, the design replica of the Daphne that was. Oh, I see. So, the old Daphne is stripped and peeled away and being buffed and repolished. So, okay. portions, portion of me, I had to unlearn and relearn my discipline and my obedience. I have to follow through with I was not always obedient in doing that. Right. Right. I, I see what you're saying. But you know what about uh, this so-called obedience that we've learned to? Hey, oh, oh, la, la, 88. Thank you for being here. It's like now in spirituality, let me, let me know if you, are, if you can relate to this. So like, Okay, so let's say, for example, in church, we were told this obedience was doing, maybe being in the choir or preaching every Sunday or doing whatever it is we were supposed to be doing while in church. But in spirituality, I feel like how you feel really matters more because even when I am being this so-called not obedient type energy where I don't want to come and do a life and let something flow through me. What I've learned is that it's okay too because that same message that I had to give, I'll get on here and then I'll hear somebody else giving it. It's like the message doesn't go void without being heard. You're the vessel that is connected to source energy and if you're not speaking it, it, come, it still has to come out because really it's all one big voice, one big subconscious yes. mind. So we are, we are in alignment because when I was in the church, I was burning the candle several places in the middle and from both ends. I was in choir. I was in drama. I was in greeting. I was doing small groups. Right. Okay. All of those things I, I was involved in, not necessarily that I was being satisfied. Now what I mean by obedience is like universe picked me up from Connecticut and placed me in Florida. Okay. Obedience is packing up and coming even then even when i don't know what the result oh, is going okay, to be okay. okay i get it because the voice or the energy is so strong it gives you an urge it's almost like it quickens you you have to move yes plain as plain as they got it two times on my back in the hospital one time with a stroke, the other time with a small intestines obstruction. These were the words at 2.30 in the morning. When you get out of these walls, you honor 
100% of who you were called for. I knew I was out of alignment. I know I was suppressing part of me that needed to so, be told. So that answers that question in the um, comments. What made you realize you were behind closed doors? It's like you felt that. Yes, yes. And, and things was happening where I know one morning I woke up out my bed, I was so lethargic, I couldn't move. I sat on the edge of my bed without any energy. I sat there like this with my cheeks in the palm of my hands and my elbow on my knees, just waiting for a little energy, nothing. Then yeah. I heard those words, get that monkey off your back. Yeah. Immediately, a surge of energy went through me. Yeah. I got up, picked up my uh, my tablet, and I typed those words in Periscope. Those days, I was broadcasting on Periscope. I don't know if you know that. No. And I started broadcasting about get this monkey off your back. And as I was broadcasting, I felt my eyes open up because my eyes were closed. And I looked on the screen, I saw this, these words. Thank you, my name is Sean. I'm watching you from Orlando, Florida. The monkey on my back has been on my back for five and a half years. I'm struggling with methadone. I yeah. am coming here for the first time, but the things that you have said has encouraged me and give me the strength oh. to go and get help. Yeah. I, dropped, I dropped the tablet, I held my hands up to the sky. I said, God, I will never doubt you any well, that's, longer. That's beautiful, that's so beautiful. Wow. My, my journey so, didn't really start off like that, though. Mine actually started off with just me. Yes, on my, on my health. Everybody is different, and that's why I tell people, stay focused. Stop watching and envy what somebody else has yeah, because, because all we of all us, have a different one. we have different ways. Yeah. Look, Miss Ann in the comment is saying she's currently out of alignment. It makes her sick because she doesn't know how to get in alignment. And to answer that, I feel like it's, it's stop uh, focusing on the things outside of you and focus on the way everything. you feel. Yeah. Everything is inside you. Everything. Everything. Inside. That's why I said to answer your question about school, I I used to be so busy going, going on the phone with everybody talking when I was in Connecticut. Yeah. Now I'm here. I am in isolation. Yeah. I go out to go to the doctor and to go to the grocery store and come back and sit and be. Right. So when you bring your energy in to become in alignment, what you're doing here is you're concerned about the things that you're maybe eating, maybe how you feel in certain relationships. Like you begin to start reading the stuff that's feeding you mentally for your soul, the larger part of you, things like that. You don't, you, you get in alignment by, especially like letting go of like music that no brings you on a close just. frequency. No television. It's years. I don't Music own a television. television. Yes. Because it's other people. It's your old thoughts, really, what you're looking at. It's yes. your old way of thinking and be behaving and being. So if you're trying uh -huh. to get in alignment, that means you have to get out of that alignment first. Exactly. And reset yourself. Exactly. So, for example, a few, couple of weeks ago, I woke up. And the spirit said, outside, get outside right now to get grounded. Get outside barefooted to get grounded. I took off my nightgown, I put on a jacket, pulled my sweatpants on, barefooted outside. I saw somebody in the parking lot when I went downstairs. Said, Girl, where is the shoes? I said to him, I'm doing spiritual work. He said, okay. 
Yeah. And I just went on and did what the Spirit told me to do without any hesitation. And, and so another thing, a lot of people who probably first starting off, they probably does, don't understand the so-called Spirit told me to do it or the Holy Ghost told me to do it or whatever you reverence, your ancestors. It really is that small voice that says, something said it's kind of like voice. Is that voice? Your God. Or uh, what we call our gut feeling. Right, your gut feeling. But the thing about because it is, if you're not in alignment and you've been ignoring your gut feeling, you might not hear it as loud as other people is hearing it. So you got to, that's why it's so important to go back inside and sit with yourself that's right. so that voice can become louder and guide you again. <laughs> that's right. That's right. It's like, it's as simple as you're accustomed to be going to work the same right. route, the same route for five years. Every day. Yeah. And on this morning, you went in the car, and all of a sudden, you say, you go in the opposite direction. You don't know why, but you, you went the opposite direction. Yeah. When you get to the job, that somebody is. said to you, did you see, you saw that big accident down on route, so and so? No, yeah. I didn't go that way this morning. Right. I don't know why, but I didn't go. That's yeah. your intuition. That's your gut feeling. Put you the other way. Yep. And so once you start listening to that feeling and trusting it, it gets louder. And it and louder. More. Exactly. Yes. Obedience. Obedience. Listen, yep. people, they tend to get too religious about everything. And that's why most times they can't figure it out because if it doesn't have enough religion in it, they think it's not real. Yeah. And I, I don't mean to step on anybody's toe. You know, I oh, love yeah, God, I, I, I love I Jesus, but it's just the truth. Yeah, I'm not tied to any religion. I don't really speak on that. So you're not stepping on my toes over here. <laughs> yep, I'm just... I'm free. That's why I said, Queen, I'm not going back in that closet. Yeah. God spared me after 62 years of running. Right. And I ain't going back in the closet. No, yeah. no, 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 no. I have work to do. I can't catch up for the 62 years that I ran, but I can sure make an impact now where I am. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And I believe that once you you do accept the call, it's like your years have been given back to you because you reset, you feel refreshed. You get your energy and your life force back. And so, and you are the prime example of that, doing what you do every day. <laughs> you know, I, I was, uh, two weeks ago, I was speaking with somebody in Canada who years ago connected with me through LinkedIn. Oh, okay. And he said to me, the spirit told me to reach out to him, and I did. And I said, you know, my focus has changed, and I, I really don't know why I reached out to you. It was just out of obedience. And yeah. he said, you know, you probably really don't know the inspiration you have been to me. Yeah. I have quit my corporate job, and I now... I'm running my own coaching practice. And a lot of it has to do with your teachings. Yeah, that's beautiful. This is a really beautiful season for a lot of people. They stepping out on in their calling or their passion and purpose. It's a beautiful mm -hmm. time to be in the physical reality because people yes. are really rising up. Yes, and we got to know, listen, there is enough, more than enough for everybody. For everybody. Because we are uniquely gifted. Everybody yep. has their own talent. We yep, don't have we to do. look and sound like anybody. We just need to be in obedience with who we are called for and who we are called to be. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, look, she says, it's been many times I said, damn, something told me and I didn't listen. I trust myself now. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Yes, that's it. something told you. That's it. That's the <clears throat> voice that we're talking about, yeah. That's that voice. 
Different labels. That 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 is that voice. Hey, yeah. somebody asked me where my husband is. I have no idea, honey. We divorced since 1985. <laughs> That's what they asked you? Yeah, because I told them um, tonight they could ask me any question about my journey. Yeah. So they ask about uh, what my most favorite memory. And mm -hmm. I chose the one with giving birth to my son after five miscarriages. Oh, and wow. then they asked me about my husband. Now they're asking me about my husband. Yeah. Oh, Mahalia Jackson. Somebody asked my favorite singer. Mahalia Jackson. I love me some Mahalia. Mahalia Jackson. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. You come on every day? Yes. You know, I used to come live religiously. Six o'clock. <clears throat> every morning. But now I kind of, sometimes several times a day, I sometimes the Spirit say, go on and talk about this. So then I talk about it on TikTok or Instagram, depending on where I go first. Oh, and okay. sometimes I go down to the county library to broadcast and put it on my YouTube, my Instagram, and my Facebook. So. Oh, okay. I didn't know you had all those platforms. I don't have Facebook. I used to have Instagram, but I haven't been on that in a long time. Lord, Queen, I have everything I need. I'm asking the universe to help me get me a team so I can monetize. Yeah, I got everything. You on YouTube? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to check you out on YouTube. I have TikTok and YouTube. That's it. Yes, um, my... If you look in my link tree, um, Shade, please put my link tree in so the people can see it. Let me type my link tree. Link okay. tree. <laughs> I, I yeah. don't have a link tree either, but I'm gonna um, I'm gonna find you. I'm gonna find you on YouTube. Yes, link tree. I think it's in my business name. So, uh, link tree. Hi. All right, there is my link tree. Once you click on my link tree, L I N K T R dot E E forward slash dynamic Daphne. And that's, dynamic Daphne. That's, I love that, it. <laughs> that will take you. Yes, ma'am. That will take you to all the other places. On Instagram, I'm Diva Coach Daphne. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's, oh, so beautiful. that's beautiful. I I believe um well my YouTube is monetized, so when I post here, I upload it to my YouTube. It's been a journey yes. for that too because I actually took a break from YouTube for a while too, when I was kind of walking away from that. I was a runner. <laughs> I I was, I was shocked runner. when. I was shocked the other day when you said you were running too. I said, no wonder God have me connect with you in that way. Because yeah. I have been stalking you for a while and just <laughs> watching your stuff and, and comments. You know, certain time of night I go in and follow people content and um, watch the stuff and comment and stuff. And then right. when I say I say something and the person responds, then I connect. Yep. <laughs> That's yes. beautiful. Look, she says, "Don't, don't leave, please. I'm about to cry." <laughs> Why uh, is that? What's she about to cry about? That's funny. But yeah, um, I I had been running away from it too because it seemed like it's just a lot. That's all. It just seemed like it was a lot. A big, you know, like even in the biblical text, how Jesus was like, Lo, take this cup from me. It just seemed like it was just going to be carrying the burden, per se, of all people's problems. Or even what, when I thought it was like a church calling, I was like, I've been with the church people and they were hurting people always. But I just didn't understand that being in alignment, you stay in alignment. You don't come out of alignment to go down to their level. That's when it's draining. That's when the energy yes. is taken from you. Yes. If you stay it's... in alignment and bring them up to you where you to are, your it's all is well. It was a blessing. I don't know if you have ever 
<clears throat> seen or read about Dr. Miles Monroe from the Bahamas. I was blessed to have him as my coach and mentor. He he passed uh, some years ago now when I was I had a plane crash while I was in Mexico at an event and my friend called me and Dr. Miles always tell me, Daphne, you can't run from Daphne because everywhere you run, she's right there with you. She's right there. You right about she's that. right there. And he was he was a globally renowned pastor, yeah. but he was not a pastor. You know, because you, you know what, it, it really be you trying to run from your own thoughts, from your own fears. Yes. And so yes. all is mental. So you're going to show up. Your thoughts going to show up again. Your ways. Gonna yeah, show when, up again. I, when I met him and I told him with all the turmoil that was going on inside of me. And he says, just because you're running from your calling and purpose. And it was the first time I was hearing those words. And he said yeah. to me, I'm going to do my book signing at the end of the event. If it's one book you can buy, I want you to buy In Pursuit of Purpose. And well, that, that little good. book, that little book changed my life. In Pursuit of Purpose? It, let me show it to you. In Pursuit of Purpose. Get uh, take a screenshot. Hold on. Yeah, I'm about to write it down. In pursuit of purpose. In pursuit of purpose. It reminds me of that book. I mean, that movie by um with Will Smith in there and his son. In pursuit of happiness, I think it is. Yeah, but here is this book. Oh, okay. Take, get a screenshot, everybody. Yeah. What is that author's name? It's backwards. My, oh, it's backwards? Well, you know, on the screen, but I... Okay, I, on the screen. Miles Monroe. M-Y-L-E-S, Miles. Miles Monroe. In Pursuit of Purpose. Right, okay. It's a, it's, a quick, like to... it's, a, it's a quick book. It's, it's a quick, quick book. Quick, it's a quick read. It's not thick. Okay. And this, this little book changed my life. That's beautiful. And that year when I bought it, I gave everybody I wanted to give a Christmas present. A copy of it? A post. This was the book I used to teach at the church. And as I am really? teaching it to the people for personal development, I am getting the downloads that I'm giving to them. And I never yet said where it was coming from. So who do I have that story? So <laughs> hang in there, whoever it is. Right. That's beautiful. Hang in there. Thank you, dear people. Yeah. So, well, I'm thank you, I'm, my sister. You're welcome. I'm happy thank that you. I brought you on here. Yes, thank you so very much. You are so Pray welcome. for my locks. Pray for my locks so my locks grow. So they grow? Yes. My, I used to have my, my locks. And it was 12 years old and I cut it off and now I regret it. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, so, I see. I see I'm you with long locks already. Yes, I'm working on it to come back. All right, my sister. Thank you for joining me. Thank you yes. for accepting to join me. Tell your people I love them. Okay. And have a wonderful day. All right. Thank you. Be blessed, babe. <laughs> be blessed, my sister. Be blessed. Okay. All right, guys. Be sure to follow her, please. <laughs> hey, Trey. Back again. I was really just doing a post-workout, saying hi, and Miss Daphne came on. So I'm back live again. You had a good day, Trey?
Y'all had a good day. Talk to me, y'all. Y'all just looking. Who up in this box up here? Let me see who this is. Miss Ann, Milia, Trey, somebody. You had a good day? Good. You just getting off, Trey? Look, I'm going to tease you, Trey. Did you just get off this, Trey? I, I don't work anymore. How was work today, Trey? <laughs> Money, money. It really feels good, though. Yes, I'm having a great day at work. Oh, you at work too? Oh, I remember the days. I remember the days when I worked, even though it's been like um, maybe a week ago. <laughs> oh, nice day. You had a nice day. That's beautiful, man. That's beautiful. Yes, I got up at 7:30 New York time. Oh, okay. What time is it here? It's five five fifty four here. So, anyway, I had a beautiful day. I just got finished working out, and I just was jumping on just to see how you all were. I didn't have, how you all were doing. I didn't really have anything in particular to talk about. If anybody wanted to ask a question before I go, that's cool. If anybody wanted to jump in and talk, that's cool, too. I'm coming into the days where I no longer work as well. Oh, that's beautiful. It really feels good when you can get up and do whatever it is that you want to do. But I'm going to be um, opening up my website in about two weeks or so again. So I'll be working. But this time, it'll be for me with my product line, my um, my soaps and lotions and beard oils and all the different things, my detoxes and everything that I have on my website. I'll be starting that back up again. So I'll be a busy bee all over because a lot of my people, my supporters, they've been emailing me asking me how much longer it's going to be to get their favorite products or whatever. So... And I kind of miss it. I kind of, well, not kind of, I wholeheartedly miss it. And I'm eager to be able to do it by itself and not have to worry about, oh, wait, I'm too tired from being at work. Or, oh, wait, you know, I got another project that I have to get done first. So it's going to be a beautiful thing. I'm excited about that chapter of this chapter of my life that finally has arrived. Hey, brown sugar. What you doing, brown sugar? <laughs> Well, if you don't have anything else going, I'm going to end this live and call it a day. I will see you all, chat with you all manana when I have another subject. Because normally when I get up in the morning, I have something that I'm going to share. The drain is real. It really is real. So it's really um, important that you have enough balance. You know, if you, you got to really, really want it, you know, and it's important that while you're already drained, to use some of that drain on building whatever it is that you're wanting and, and kind of work it where I was kind of saying this a little early, work on your LLC, work on getting your logo, work on, you know, starting the name of your business, work on finding out where your passion is while you're still working wherever you are there. That way, when it's time to retire or when it's time to, you know, or they lay you off or, you know, you give your two weeks notice, whatever, you'll be already in alignment with what it is that you really, really want to do. And that could have been a stepping stone for you, for your greatness, you know, so you already work and why not do a little bit of work for you too at the same time when you get off, maybe delegate maybe two hours to do something. For me, I used to be up all night, y'all. I used to be all night long up. Sometimes I didn't even go to sleep. <laughs> I remember, I remember sitting, I remember sitting in the parking lot huh, of one of my jobs. I got off at uh, four o'clock in the morning and I had to be at this particular construction yard at six o'clock in the morning because I was hustling and bustling, trying to take care of everything that I needed to do to get to this place that I am in now. I really was. And so it's a sacrifice sometimes we have to make. I know, you know, because you got to, in the physical, you got to, supposedly obey the laws of the land supposedly you got to pay your bills supposedly you know but when i learned about manifestation and manipulating energy all that went away and that sped up all of that time all of that doing and, and i was able to be and draw it to me closer and i didn't have to work so hard no more and it feels like i you know you tapped into the, like the greatest secret of the world or whatever so in the physical if you're there and you want to learn those ways at least at least learn how to manipulate the energy and while you're already drained, use some of your energy for you. Something that's going to make you happy until you learn or master the law of assumption and the law of attraction. <laughs> and don't have to do that no more. Yeah. 
Okay, thank you so much. I appreciate your love and live today. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. I appreciate you too, Ashe. All right. This video was from my heart to yours, babe. Be blessed. Do, 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 do.